the Golden State Warriors had an opportunity to advance to the Western Conference Finals on Wednesday, facing the Memphis Grizzlies with a 3-1 series lead. While the Grizzlies had home court advantage, the continued absence of star guard Ja Morant put the Warriors in a good position to finish things off. Instead, they suffered their most humiliating playoff loss, as the Grizzlies annihilated the Warriors in a 134-95 blowout. The Grizzlies never trailed, turning in their best performance of this series to pull within 3-2. Memphis scored 77 points in the first half, the most in franchise postseason history. They pushed their lead to 55 in the third quarter, threatening the three biggest postseason blowouts in NBA history. Their 52-point lead after three, tied for the largest in a playoff game in the past 70 years. Clay Thompson led Golden State with 19 points and had some strong words in the post-game interview. Oh, it was awful. It was embarrassing. We played like a shell of ourselves. While Clay was embarrassed by the Warriors' performance in Game 5, he and the Dubs looking up to Game 6, where Thompson is famously known to put on legendary performances. Welcome to the Vintage Dawkins channel. Here, we break down the myth of Game 6 Clay. Clay against Toronto, 2019 NBA Finals. Even though this game ended the worst way imagined for Thompson and the Warriors with Clay's knee injury that led to a long two years off the floor for Clay, he was on fire. In the three quarters he got to play, Thompson scored 30 points on 8 for 12 shooting from the field, 4 for 6 shooting from 3 and 10 for 10 from the free throw stripe, and was carrying the dubs until he went down with two minutes to play in the third quarter. As mentioned, this game ended bad for the Warriors, but this is the last time we witnessed Game 6 Clay, and it was awesome for three quarters play against Houston in 2019 second round. As the Warriors looked to close out the Rockets on their home floor, Thompson was a one-man wrecking crew offensively as the teams entered the locker rooms at halftime tied at 57 apiece. Launching early and often, Thompson scored 21 points on 8 for 15 shooting, including 5 for 9 three-pointers in the first half. His performance was essential because Steph Curry, expected to carry a bigger offensive load with KD out of the lineup, was held scoreless in the first half. Curry was mired in foul trouble and never found his rhythm in 12 first-half minutes, shooting 0 for 5 from the field, which made Thompson's big half all the more important. Steph got hot in the second half with 33 points, but it was Clay's big three-pointer. 36 seconds left to play that finally put the game away. Thompson finished with 27 points on 7 for 13 from 3, as the Warriors advanced to the conference finals. Play against Houston in 2018 Western Conference Finals. This was the first of back-to-back -back seasons where Thompson and the Warriors eliminated the Rockets in the playoffs. This game, however, was not close after the Warriors' second-half surge propelled them to a 115-86 victory to force Game 7. Thompson was the star that night, scoring 35 points on 13 of 23 shooting and 9 of 14 from beyond the arc. I mean, I guess you could say I was born for it. I oh, man, that felt good, to be honest. I just wanted to play with as much passion as I could tonight. Katie played in this matchup but had an off night shooting the ball. Curry was his usual self, scoring 29 points of his own, but Thompson was certainly the hero of yet another Game 6. With their backs against the wall, Clay and the Warriors avoided elimination and forced Game 7, one they would win to clinch yet another spot in the NBA Finals. Clay against OKC in 2016 Western Conference Finals. It was a must-win game for the Warriors, win or go home for the record-breaking 2016 Golden State team, and Clay had no intention to go home. Just before the game, Thompson approached Draymond Green. Game six, Clay, which is a real thing. Now, I remember him coming to me in that OKC before that game. Like, hey, Drake, just give me the ball. I'm about to go crazy. Right. And crazy he went, scoring 41 points on 14 of 31 shooting and 11 of 18 from beyond the arc. Thompson broke the record on his 10th three of the game. He added one more for good measure. This was peak Splash Brothers before the arrival of KD, who coincidentally was on the opposing team. Thompson and Curry combined to make 17 three-pointers at a 53% clip sending the Thunder home the next game. Tell us in the comments, what is your favorite Clay Thompson moment? And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more. For even more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Free Dawkins and Squad Dawkins, and follow us on social media.